It's Tuesday, July 5th, 2022. I'm Ashley Pollard here for today's edition of Tuesday Talk, where we review common real estate and mortgage related topics. Today's topic is, is an adjustable rate mortgage for me? And this is a hot topic right now in the market where um, interest rates are continuing to rise and fluctuate. So let's first define an adjustable rate mortgage. And this is a mortgage uh, loan that is going to be fixed in the beginning during your introductory period, and that's for a certain amount of years. And then once that time period is over, your interest rate is going to adjust at certain time intervals, depending on the market conditions at that time. So adjustable rate mortgages are typically abbreviated as ARMS. So an ARM can typically be three, five, seven, or 10 years. And I have two examples. So let's say you have an arm that's a 10-6 arm. That means that for the first 10 years of your loan, your, your interest rate is going to be fixed. And then every six months after that, your interest rate will adjust depending on where the market is. Let's say you have a 7-1 arm. That means for the first seven years of your loan, your interest rate will be fixed. And then every one year after that, your interest rate will adjust depending on market conditions. So these I wanted to talk about because some of my clients are thinking about these options right now. Um, and they are great options if you're in a certain position in your life. So three situations where an adjustable rate mortgage might be for you. First one is if you're not buying a forever home and you plan to possibly sell before your introductory period is up, then you wouldn't be worried about possible higher interest rates later down the line. So an arm could work out for you. A second situation is if you want an initial monthly payment that is lower than what a current fixed rate mortgage will give you. Arms tend to be um, cheaper and more affordable than fixed rate mortgages, and that's kind of just because of the uncertainty with your interest rate continuing to fluctuate. But they are cheaper to get into initially, so that might be a good option for you. Thirdly, is if you think interest rates may go down in the future. So there are some people that I'm speaking to today who think that the 5 and 6% interest rates that they're being quoted are a bit high and they're expecting them to go back down to the fours and they're thinking, okay, well, I'll get an arm now and then when interest rates go back down, then you know I'll be okay at that point. Now, we don't know if interest rates are going to go up or down at any point in time. It really depends on the market. So these are conversations you should definitely have with your lender before you just decide what you want to do, because you should lean on their experience based on what they've seen in the past. Now, one downside to ARMS that I want to point out is that you could struggle with a higher monthly payment if your interest rate does jump up at, after your uh, introductory period ends. If your payment is going to be more than what you can afford, then you're going to have to figure out some options at that point. If your income has um, you know, significantly decreased or if you've lost your job or if you haven't had a pay raise that covers what the new uh, mortgage payment's going to be, those are things you're going to have to sit with your lender and, and plan out for the future because you don't want to get to that point. Point, you're you know you're in your home you love your home and now you can't afford it anymore because of the arm that you got into if you want more information on this I'm going to connect you with my lenders to give you um, some more ins and outs of it that this was just a general overview but there's a lot that goes with arms just like there's a lot that goes with fixed rate mortgages so I'll connect you with my lending team you can choose who you want to reach out to uh, and they'll give you some more tips and information on adjustable rate mortgages that is today's Tuesday talk. I appreciate you for watching this video. Please um, tune into my YouTube. If you're watching on another channel, um, just hop on to my YouTube, subscribe, like, comment, uh, and just flood me with some love because this is all for you and I appreciate you and joining me every week. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I will see you next Tuesday.